Hallelujah. How's everybody doing here tonight? Come on, can someone raise up their hand and wave at me if you're alive and well? Amen. As we all stand here today, come on, give the Lord a great hand clap offering. Amen. And we want to invite each and every one of you to this altars right here. Come on, we're going to have an awesome service. I'm believing that there's going to be breakthrough taking place in the house of God tonight. Amen. But right there where you're at, we want to go ahead and, and introduce this service to a word of prayer before we do anything. So partner with me as we bow our heads and close our eyes and go before the Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you today, Lord, and God, we pray, Jesus, God, over this service, Lord, we are thankful, God, and grateful, Lord, and we are overfilled with joy, God, excited for what you're going to do, God. God, I pray, Lord, that you would be in this place, God, that your presence would be tangible, God, with worship, God. God, to every preliminary, Lord Jesus, be in this place, God, flow through us, God. God, that you would be at the center of attention, Lord Jesus. You, we are very careful to give you all glory, God, and all honor, Jesus. You deserve all adoration. As Victor Outreach Palmdale says, amen and amen. Amen. Come on, can you make your way to the front at this altar tonight? Can we worship the Lord? Come on, if you can.
give him a few moments of your worship? Come on, your highest praise tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, we lift your name on high, God. We worship your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name. We bless your name, Lord. If you believe, sing. You have sing, and I'm never going back. Come on, softly, right there. Just sing it to your Lord. Say, You have rescued my life. Say, You have rescued my life, and I'm. to these altars tonight. Can we just take a few moments in his presence? If you'd like to get out of your seat and make it to these altars tonight. Come on, we came to worship him, amen. There's a scripture that it shares. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh, amen. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty, amen. I don't know what you've been going through, but there is peace in his presence. I only tell you because I've experienced it. In the midst of turmoil, in the midst of things that take place, in his house there is peace, amen? So we don't come here to perform or to sing a little song, but can you lift your hands like, you came to encounter his presence. Amen. There is no condemnation in his house. Oh, he accepts you as you are tonight. Come on, do you believe it? His love is tangible in this place tonight. Oh, he says, son and daughter, I love you as you are. If you came here to try and be perfect, that doesn't work in his house. I don't know who needs to hear it, but he says, I love you as you are. Oh, I love you as you are. Can you give him your words? Hallelujah. Come on, even as you're up here, just lift your hands. We came to say, I love you, Jesus. I'm imperfect, but I came to worship. I don't have it all together, but I came to worship. Hey, if you worship and say, you have rescued my life. Hey, come on and sing it. You have rescued my life.
front to the back can you lift it you have rest to your Lord singing I'm never and I'm never going back come on you all the way in the back you say my response is hide oh gracious If you're serving tonight, this is your slender moment. Can you sing it? If you're back there, you can still worship your Lord. Can you put everything to the side for a moment and let His name say, My response will always be. just a couple of moments I want you to lift up your hands and give your own words to Jesus don't let the music distract you but give your worship from your heart and if you don't know what to say I encourage you to thank him for everything that he's done inside of your life and give him a, a, a great shout of praise give him a, 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 a great worship right there from your heart a thankfulness that bursts out from the fountain we bless your name Lord we pray thank you God God, you deserve everything, God. You are greatness, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus, God, we are grateful. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you today, Lord God, thanking you, God, for what you are doing in these people, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, for each and every soul, God, that came here expecting, Lord Jesus. God, our response to you, God, is, is not lip worship, but God, genuine worship unto you, God. God, our worship is genuine, and Lord, I pray, God, that we would posture our heart, God, on towards you. Holy Spirit, you are the center of attention, and Lord, I pray, God, against any type of distractions, God, be in this place, Lord. Intercede, God. God, and I pray, Lord, that came in here heavy burden, God. God, that they would come in here feeling the weight come off, God, and that we would powered up Lord Jesus in everything that we do God God that we would walk God with the authority that you have given us Lord the Holy Spirit God God that you would guide our steps Lord Jesus we thank you God God we pray for a covering God upon each and every individual Lord and God we want to give you all glory God we are careful God to give you all glory and all honor Jesus you deserve all adoration God and we thank you God Jesus come on church if you want come up to just a few short moments. Come up to the altars. There's something that's taking place right here at these altars. And God wants to speak to you guys here today. And God is crying out and trying to get you to these altars. Come on, up to
God. If you said God did something in your life here this evening, I want to open up these altars as we continue to sing the song and, and, and invite the presence of God. Here it is. I sense the presence. Right now there's a river. Hallelujah. Come on, worship team. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yes. God, we just come to God. We thank and praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we come tonight, God. We need to know, God, that you're able, God, to do exactly what we come for tonight. We're strengthened, God, in the knowledge of knowing, God, that you would never leave us, Father, nor forsake us, oh, God. Your very presence, oh, God, fills this place, oh, God, and we, we just want to acknowledge your presence on tonight, God. We just want to acknowledge your presence on tonight, God. We, we want you to know, God, that, that we need you, 
God, we come expecting God. We come expecting God. We come knowing God that that you're greater than our problem, God. That you're greater than our situation, God. That, that you're greater, God, and that and that you're standing, God, in the very gap, Father God. That that we may not be able to see, God. We we might not be able to to, to think, oh God, that we're able to make that that connection tonight, God. But but we're so grateful, God. We're so grateful, God, that you have allowed us, God just to come into your presence just to come to your presence just to come to the altar just to come and lay down God every every concern God that we may have God oh God we need you tonight God we need your presence God we need oh God to know oh God that we're not going to this thing alone, God, but you're right here with us, God. Your, 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 your very presence, God, is, is, is right here with us, God. And God, you've given us another opportunity, oh God, to come in connection with you. Oh God, we're grateful. We're so grateful. We're so grateful. We're so grateful. We're so grateful, we're so grateful God. Oh, I encourage everyone to just open up your hearts tonight. Open up your minds tonight. And allow the Spirit of God to begin to penetrate. Allow it to begin to come into that place. That very place of need. That very place. That very place that we need you the more, God. Oh, God, we come, God, for a filling tonight, God. God, come, we come, God, for a filling, God. We, we need God to be filled on tonight. We need, oh, God, to know you on tonight, God. We need to feel your presence, oh, God, like never before, oh, God. We are sure tonight, God, that, that we're not going through this journey alone, God. We are sure tonight, God, that the very thing, oh God, that we're experiencing, God. That we're able, Father God, to come and lay it at your feet today, God. Every concern that we have, God, we, we bring it tonight, God. We, we bring it, God, with confidence, God. That as we lay it before you, God, as we, as we begin to give it to you, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Have your way in this place. Yes, 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 God. We need you, Lord. Let your will be done, oh God. God, we need a word from heaven, oh God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right where you're at. Right there where you're at. Continue ushering in the presence of the Lord. Continue just ushering in that sweet presence of the Lord. There is something about the name of Jesus. There is something about the name of of Jesus that every demon shall tremble at the very name of Jesus deliverance takes place at the name of Jesus oh come on church let's lift up our hands Storms, that sweet fragrance of Jesus. 
something about that name, that sweet name of Jesus. when we allow Jesus to take full control we allow the presence of an almighty God to take control over the service that he comes and he heals and he touches delivers oh hallelujah that mighty name Jesus Jesus. 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 There's just something. There is something about, about that name. That name. Woo! Oh, he is my master. Oh, he is
right where you're at. Right where you're at. You have the gift of speaking in tongues right now. I want you to right now just begin to speak in that language. I want you to right now begin just to speak in your heavenly language to the Lord. God is doing something. God is doing something in this place. Chains are falling. Addiction is being loosened. We bind addictions in the name of Jesus. Addiction, sickness, healing, healing and hope, healing, healing. Oh, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, breakthroughs, hallelujah. Joshua. God, call upon your Joshua. Call upon the name that is above every name. If you have a need here tonight, lift up the name, Joshua. heaven down let's draw heaven down let's begin to draw heaven down the windows of heaven are open the windows of heaven are open let's draw heaven down let's begin the windows of heaven right now oh jesus 
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's a power. Oh, hallelujah. Lord God, Lord, speak to us this evening, Lord God. We come before you this evening, Lord God. Come before your throne of grace and mercy, casting our crowns before you, Lord God, that you may have your way in our lives, Lord God. We need you. We praise your name. We can't live without you, Lord God. We have confidence in all things, Lord God. You promise to us. Lord, we come right now with humble hearts. We come broken, Lord God, and ready to receive something new. We need your spirit, Lord God. We need your power, Lord God. We need you, Lord, to visit each and every heart in this place, Lord God. We raise our hands to you. We raise our hearts to you. We raise our voices to you. Glory, hallelujah. Praise be to God. We love you, Lord God. There's none above you, Lord Jesus. There's no name above your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, there's power in your name, Lord Jesus. 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 Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Yeshua. Yeshua. Glory be to God. We come before you, Lord God. We pray to you, Lord God. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name, Lord God. We lift you up, Lord God. Glory, hallelujah. For you, Lord God, with broken hearts and broken spirits, have your way with us, Lord God. Reach down to us, Lord Jesus. Fix the hearts, Lord God. Visit each and every one of us, Lord Jesus. Lord, we set forth our petitions before you. Lord, we give ourselves to you entirely, Lord God, holding nothing back. We believe in your mighty power, Lord God. Nothing's impossible for you. But the things we've been praying for, Lord God, you're already working in those things, Lord God. You've already made the move, Lord God, in the places that we don't even know. And we're so thankful, Lord God, for what you've done for us. Continue, Lord God, to move us, Lord God, as we enter into the holiest of holies. Lord, we need to be with you, Lord God. Oh, your presence is in this place. Oh, we can feel the power of the Holy Spirit in this place. Like pillars of fire above each of our heads, Lord God. Oh, there's fire in our hearts and our spirits, Lord God. We blaze for you. We burn for you, Lord God. We yearn for you, Lord God. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, each and every day. Thank you for loving us, Lord God. We thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord God, upon us. We thank you for your loving touch, Lord God. On each and every person, Lord God, 
each and every family, each and every marriage, each and every household, all our children, Lord God, our grandchildren, Lord, and us in our community, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you're doing. Praise you, Lord. Come Praise on, Jesus. God. Come on, worship team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Yes, Lord, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. We're open. We are open. Your church is open, God. Your church is open, God. God, we need your presence, Father. We need your presence, Father. We need your presence so that we can, God, give it to others, Lord. We need you, Holy Spirit, right now. Because of all the things that are taking place in our society, in our communities, and in our world. Father, and fill us right now. And fill us, God. Lord, and fill us with your presence. Have your way. Have your way. Yes. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. We need your presence, God. We don't need anything else but you.
get on your knees right there where you're at. Go ahead and get on your knees. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Just get in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah.
Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, son. Worship team, just help us. In you in that same attitude, just right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has spoken to us. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah.
do what only you can do. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way within each and every one of our lives. Lord, we give ourselves to you here to this evening, Father, as we've gathered, God, to, to fill up, God, to fill up this, this day, God, to, to be able to come into your sanctuary, God, to empower us, to help us, God, to lead us, Lord, that no matter what's taking place all over this world, all over our cities, God, that you are still in control. You are in control of everything, and you see everything, Lord. And I ask tonight, Father, that you would cover us. And as you cover us, God, you're covering our marriages. You're covering our spouses, God. You're covering our children, Lord. Our families, God. Lord, cover us, God. Protect us, God. That no matter what, God, that, that you have us, God, in the palm of your hand, Father. Be with us, God. Let us sense your peace and your presence, God, that no matter where we are, God, that you're there with us. Let us be reassured of that as we seek your scripture, as we, as we come together in prayer, Father. Lord, I pray for the leadership, God, to rise up. Every leader to rise up, God. Lord, to shake off those heavy bands, to shake off those things that, that will try to hold them back, that will try to, to interfere in their walk. I pray for every leader, every pastor, God, every minister, every pastor's wife, Lord God, that, that no matter what situations they may find themselves in right now, Father, that, that hard place, Father, that you would show them, God, the, your greatness, that you would show them, God, that you have them in the palm of your hand, Father. Lord, have your way. Empower us, God. Empower us, God, to move and to go forward, God. I pray for every individual in this sanctuary here this evening, Father. Lord God, that, Lord God, as they press through here this evening, God, as they broke through, Father, Lord, that you are having your way within their life. God, that you're, remo you're moving those things, God, that don't belong there. You're moving those, those, those things that are hindering your people, God. You're moving them out of the... You're, you're, you're sorting through those things, God, and you're pushing them out, Father. And Lord, we give you permission to push those things out, to, to, to rip those things out, to cut those things at the root, Lord. We give you ourselves, Father that you would have your way, Father, that, 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 we would, that our minds and our hearts, God, would be drawn to you, that our hearts and mi minds, God, would be drawn to your precious Holy Spirit as you lead us every moment. Father, now we're very careful, Lord. We're very careful, God, to give you praise. We thank you, Lord, because I know tonight, God, that there's been some, some spiritual healing, Father. There's been some spiritual healing, Father. Hallelujah. There's been some spiritual breakthrough. There's been some things that have been moved out of the way that maybe you didn't even see, but God seen it and he moved it out of the way for you in advance. He moved it out of your way in advance because we pressed in. We were not afraid to, 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 to come into his presence. We didn't have to have order or a, a certain order of service, but we, were, we just pressed in. God moved some things out of the way for you. You might not even know it. You might never even realize it, but you have to believe it that he moves some things. That's why it's going to be easy for you or to get to the other side. God loves us. He loves you. He loves each and every one of us. Somebody give God a good hand of praise. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. We're going we're gonna to conclude with with uh, uh, our, our, our tithes and offerings and then also with the announcements. Amen. Praise the Lord. You have an announcement? Okay, praise the Lord. Um, so you can turn on the lights. We're not dismissed yet, so please don't leave. Amen. How many of us know, wow, was that a, was that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> God took over. He said, this is, I, I'm going to show up. And he showed up. 
And you know, when we start getting in the posture of this praise and we posture our heart this way, do you know that we just continue in that same posture when we take it to home? We start taking it home that way. And then all of a sudden, we just live our life that way where we just know that this is what we got to do every day. We just get into the presence of the Lord and we just posture our heart before God. And you're going to start seeing God do great and mighty things. Amen. And, and I really feel this, a, a, a word that came to my mind is Ephesians 3.20. He's going to do exceedingly above and beyond that what you can ever comprehend or think of. That's a powerful scripture. If you ever look, it's Ephesians 3.20. And I released that over this church. Amen. Well, I have tomorrow evening. Say tomorrow evening. For the ladies. Come on now. It is going to be our regional service, our code red service. Get ready, because we have two dynamic speakers. Sister, Sister Raina is going to be speaking, our regional leader. She's going to be speaking. And Sister Tina Gonzalez is going to give a, her a, a sermonette. But how many of us know you don't want to miss out? Say, I don't want to miss out. So in the back, there's going to be signups. So we got to go VO, VO Palmdale Strong. Amen? VO Palmdale Strong. Don't stay home tomorrow night. Listen, tonight started with praise. And we got to believe, when we go out to the streets on Friday, we got to go out and take this, the praise that we got, the love of Jesus that's within us, and go out into the, the highways and the byways and tell somebody, tell the prostitutes about God's love. That God loves them. And that whole day Friday is going to be set apart just for them. And then Saturday at 9 a.m. we will be joining Victory Outreach San Bernardino. And we're going to do a whole day of Code Red events. Don't stay home. Get ready. And let's go. And let's be a part of a dynamic move of God. Amen. Again, in the back, go ahead. Sister Trina will have sign-ups. Go ahead and see her. Sign up. They will be taking sign-ups at the door tomorrow. Don't stay home. Amen. Bring a friend. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, give God a good hand of praise. Amen. And then for the announcements. Um, I know that we have one quick announcement, really quick, right? That don't forget this Sunday morning, we're going to be doing graduations. Amen. We're going to be doing graduations. So those of you have, they already signed up and everything, right? They got everything. Okay. So don't you, those of you that already know, please be ready. We're going to be having a great, great uh, graduation service on Sunday morning. So let's fill this place up. Let's invite somebody. Let's honor those that are going to be graduating. Uh, I mean, going to the next level in education and ac academics, amen. So that's going to be powerful as well. And then those of you that are helping with the Code Red, don't forget Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Some of you guys already have um, uh, committed to that. Some of you security guys for security, please be faithful towards that as well. If we can have the ushers, please make their way. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Amen. Uh, Raymond, do you have any other announcements, Raymond? That's it? Okay, praise the Lord. Amen. So we're doing it a little bit different tonight. Usually we do everything first, but tonight we're doing this, amen, but I believe God already spoke to your life, God refreshed you, amen, I know on Sunday night, amen, Sunday night, God refreshed you again, I believe that those things are happening because, because we are living in real war, real battle, amen, and it's getting hot out there, and let me tell you, when it gets hot, people start acting a little foolish, but let me tell you this, we, the people of God can't act foolish, and I know it's so easy. Somebody cuts you off, you want to cut them off. Or you want to pull up right to them as I wish you would. And we can't do that. We're, remember who we are. We have the love of Christ. We've been redeemed. We're born again. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. So we don't react the way the world will act. And although I know it's easier said than done, because this flesh that we live in, that this flesh that we reside in, it's sometimes a little nasty, right? Oh, not in this place. <laughs> let's, be, let's tell the truth, amen. Sometimes we can get a little testy, amen. 
But how many know that we have to make the shift, amen? And I believe God's refreshing us to reassuring us, I'm with you. I'm, I got you. Don't worry about those little things. Those are little things. Remember who you're representing. You're representing me. And maybe perhaps you can reach that individual. You can reach that person. You might see them somewhere else and share the love of Christ. But what if you would have acted in a the same way they acted? They would look at you and, and, and look at you and say, huh, you ain't real. And and that's happening right now. You know, you're you're that's happening with people, amen. You're you're coming across people that you haven't that that you've run across before and then all of a sudden you see him again and then you say, oh, thank you, Jesus, that I acted right. Some of you, some of you might need some act right right now, huh? <laughs> you need some act right. We're selling it right in the back, amen. Hey, amen, you can just go in the back and I think Trina's got a few cases back there of some act right, amen. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. I love you guys, man. But let's remember we love Christ, who we are. We, we, we're children of God, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're going to pick up our tithes and offerings. Amen. So if God's prepared you, you come tonight. Amen. And I want to say thank you as a pastor. I want to say thank you to all of you, you know, because uh, uh, I know many of you are contributors to, to the ministry. Amen. You bring your tithes, your offerings. Uh, you've, I mean, um, we've had, we probably have picked up about 90% um, um, of their pledges. I've come in, amen, 90%. There's still a few thousand, a couple of thousand, but I think like 72 or 73,000, oh no, actually $80,000 was pledged, and I think $73,000 has come in. So that's pretty good, amen. We've never been there, amen, but because you're contributors, and you can see already the sound system that we've put in, amen, and that wasn't cheap. Believe it or not, that was not it, it, it was not cheap. It was thousands and thousands of dollars, amen. You might go, well, really? Yes, things cost. And then we had to get somebody to come install it. I was going to get the men's home, but I was like, well, I don't know. So you get the men's home to come and install it. But if you're just, maybe if you were sitting or you're praying right underneath one of them stacks right there, we saved <laughs> because we got the men's home to do it, but we lost someone for it. <laughs> you know, praise the Lord. Amen. But um, we're, we're continuing to move forward. We're looking at purchasing some more cameras as well. Different things that we're doing. Amen. But we're always preparing ourselves. Amen. And so I believe that you, you know, I seen two sisters that were sitting, that were praying right here. They were grabbing a hold of God. They came in and just took care of business. And, and uh, um, I, I notice people. I like to look. I notice people. Sometimes you think I'm just watching you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing you. And I watched these two, but I watched them when they were in the parking lot. And they were getting like, I don't know what they were doing, but they were getting stuff ready. I don't, they were just, just they were getting themselves, they were kind of like just getting themselves ready because they knew tonight was power up night. And they were getting themselves ready. And I don't know what they were doing in the, by the car, but they were doing something. And then they come in here and they, they came straight to take care of business. On Wednesdays, it's about us right now. It's about us petitioning the Lord, petitioning God, bringing your prayer requests, you know, your own personal, you know, bringing your prayer. This place should be full of tears. And I know there was tears shed tonight, but you come prepared. You know, you leave everything aside. I, I, they were putting stuff in the trunk or in the car. Or they were just emptying out. No, no, we're going to leave this and we're going to leave this. We're going to leave this. We're leave this we're gonna leave this we're gonna leave this and we're gonna come and take care of business and you know what they did they took care of business they took care of business but we should come in with that attitude I, 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 I see that I said wow these girls came in to take care of some spiritual business with Papa their Papa but that's not just for them it's for all of us but as it was an example to me and because it was an example to me, I'm sharing that example to you. When you come to the house of God, come ready to take care of business. How many know that we go through stuff throughout the week and throughout the day, right? What, what is today called? Hump day, right? Or what, getting over the hump. I'm just getting over the hump, amen. <laughs> and Monday comes and oh Lord, and Tuesday comes and Wednesday, and I can't wait till Wednesday. And you leave everything in the trunk or throw it out, throw it away and come into the house of God 
bring yourself and then throw yourself at the feet of Jesus and let him fill you up let him power you up let him encourage you let him strengthen you let him help you throughout the week and then you got it and then we get back Sunday morning and powerful services amen but it starts here it starts on our knees it starts here this is why we're making some changes and we're always trying to take, take it to the next level amen so you know let's work hard on our Wednesdays so that we can power up our power up amen amen you guys ready you ready to give come on give God a good hand of praise amen praise every head bowed every eye closed praise you Jesus Heavenly Father we thank you we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your love we thank you for your presence God Lord we came God and we emptied out but you filled us up God we emptied out all the all the stuff we brought every petition before your presence God and we thank you God that you did not reject us you did not push us aside you did not stop us but you let us come in to your holy place you let us you let us come in, God, and express ourselves and empty out, God, so that you could fill us up, so that you could power us up, God. And now, God, I ask, God, as your church is ready to give, God, Lord, I ask that you would bless the giver, God. Bless them. Multiply. Fill them. Let their cup overflow, God, as they give their time, talent, their treasure and resources, God. And tonight, God, as we Lord, we pick up our tithes and our offerings. Let them be blessed, God, and we give them back to you, Father. We thank you. We love you. In Christ Jesus' name, and everybody said amen. And amen. Go ahead, ushers. Peace. Go, 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 go. He's going to give you a, just like, you got one set, one minute. You got one minute. So many of you guys don't know me because I just started coming to church on Sunday. But I used you know. to be in the woman's home when I was about 17 in Santa Ana, Victory Outreach. So I failed, and, but, you know, we always got to get back up and pray to God and get back up. I was diagnosed three years ago with Crohn's disease, IBS, and severe gastritis. Had for three years, critical, hospital, all the time, every six months. I came to church on Wednesday. No, I came to church Sunday night out of nowhere. I had a GI appointment on Tuesday. And I called my mom and I said, I don't know if I should scream, cry, laugh. But the doctor said, I don't understand. You've been having Crohn's for all these years, but nothing comes up anymore and there's no cure for Crohn's at all. He took away all my medications. I have no medications and there was no cure for it, but there's nothing there. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. Amen. One more. Anybody else? One more really quick. Okay. Right there in the back. Y'all know me. <laughs> um, I was at court for my brother, and um, I seen this lady and her son, and I guess it was her daughter-in-law, and I seen her, like, fighting with her son. Like, he didn't want to take the plea because uh, the uh, DA went and talked to him. Well, that's all they're going to give you. And, you know, he's like, no, I don't want to take that. I, don't wanna take I didn't want to be nosy, but, you know, I heard them arguing. So I was sitting with my husband. He was at court with me, and I kept looking. I was reading this book I was reading, um, Jesus, um, how to train, uh, something about Jesus and a woman, how Jesus gets in the woman's life, something like that. And so, and I was like, and I felt something kept pushing me, like pushing, like go pray for her. 
And I was like, oh, oh, fighting with the, you know, the spirit. And I was like, oh, let me get up and go. And I told my husband, I'll be back. So I seen her get up and go to the bathroom. So there I go bathroom. And she was crying, crying. I said, um, Jesus told me to pray for you. And she's like, huh? and she just cried. She said, I was just in here talking to God. And how did he know, how did he know to use you that I don't even know you? He used you. And I said, yes, he did. He told me to tell you everything's going to be okay. And he's taking take care of your son. And Praise I invited her to church. And I said, you come tell me the good news on Sunday. We're at B.O. Palmdale. And I gave her the address. So I was waiting for her to come. <laughs> Praise to the Lord. The Amen. Good news. Praise God. God is good. Amen. God is good. So I just said one more. And sorry, guys. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll be here all night. But um, um, I'm just going to ask one prayer request. Pray for my brother Johnny. Amen. That God's hand is upon him. Amen. That God just gives him favor. He's going through some stuff. Uh, and uh, I just, you know, want him to go into the men's home. Amen. That God would give him favor. Somehow, some way. I don't know. We serve a miracle working God. Amen. So pray for my, his name, Johnny. Pray for my brother Johnny. Johnny. Just remember that. Johnny. Amen. And pray for him diligently. Amen. He needs a miracle. He needs a miracle. Amen. He's here tonight, but he needs a miracle that he would go to the men's home because he needs complete restoration. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Why don't we stand and we're going to close in a word of prayer and in a song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you do, God. Even, God, sometimes we just are blown away, Lord, by your presence, by who you are, Lord. And I ask, God, as you have already refreshed us, let us continue to be a refreshing or a refresher to others, God. Let us be a refresher to others, God. Others that are in trouble, others that are going through situations, others that are falling apart, others that, that are just having difficulties in life, Father. Help us, God. Just like Sister Yvette, God. She was a refresher, God, to that woman in that courtroom, God. And she went to the bathroom, God, and she just took a step of faith and, and asked, can I pray for you? And that girl was in inspired father let us be like that god lord have your hand upon us our children our families we thank you we love you in christ jesus name come on worship team sing a song and as we sing this song you can consider yourself dismissed. praise the lord god bless you hallelujah come on church hallelujah praise the lord